Hi, Bill here. Today I'll be reviewing Disney Pixar's Lightyear Hyperspeed series Zorg's Mothership. And that's it. This came from Smith or Smythe Toys in the UK. So here it is here. Looking really cool. Obviously there's some sort of assembly required. Now it someone says it's two foot, but it says fifty centimetres twenty inches, so it's not two foot feet. I've seen a reviewer saying it was about two feet. It's not two feet. Cause I'll, I'll show later the uh, Transformers Titans uh, class Trypticon. That's two feet. This isn't two feet. <laughs> I could do size comparison later when I get it out of the box. But that's not two feet. It's, it's it says on it fifty centimetres twenty inches. Right there, so that's the size of it. You get one of these, uh, one of these uh, little robot things and drop pods. Uh, includes. Uh, it doesn't say it. It says on somewhere on the side of it there uh, what you actually get, but. Um, you get these little bots in the drop pods. You only get one drop pod, so what I did was I bought another drop pod. Ah, it says Zyclops. It's a Zyclops in the drop pods, but you only get one Zyclops in drop pod. But I bought two. I, 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 I thought you can. Only, I thought there was one you only had one in it, but you can only buy two, so it doesn't matter. You can use these two instead of that one, because I saw a review of that when it didn't deploy very well, so. And he used the spear and they actually deploy, deployed better. So I could probably use them instead for, for its feature. It's looking right, right cool. It just looks like a Decepticon ship. That's why I got it. It looks really cool. I don't, I don't normally buy these official licensed toys. Well, I, I bought some in the past, but mostly Transformers and that. But, um, but this caught my eye because the spikiness of it. The coloration is definitely Decepticon. Even the greens and the bit of red, and it just spells Decepticon to me. I know it's not. I know it's Zerg's mothership that you could pass it off as a, as a Decepticon ship of, of some description, like a like a variant of the Nemesis, something like that. It does look that way. So let's have a look at the side. There's the side bits there. The mothership. Here's the deploying feature and the storage space there. There's the back of it. It does have a it does a blurb there if you want to go and read it. But I think it's all in foreign language. <laughs> Alright, it requires three AA batteries. Now I've got double A's. I've got luckily I've got double A's, so I'll be able to put it in it. It says not included, so luckily I've got double A batteries. Um, so I'll, I'll be using that. Uh, I've, lucky I've got some handy. I didn't uh, buy them when I saw this. Uh, I thought it, I thought the batteries come sometimes. Cap, my tongue tied. Sometimes the batteries come with it, but um, but obviously it's saying they are not included. So you do need three. Double A batteries, which I've, I, I've already got anyway, luckily. So uh, I'll put them in it. And there's a lot of blurb on it, but I think a lot of blurbs in foreign language you can see there. Uh, Zerg's underneath, so foreign language. It's got lights and sounds. There's the, the light up feature that the, this. See the green? Uh, even that looks like a Decepticon ship. It's all greens and purples and little bits of red. So it looks like a Decepticon one to me. And there we are there. There's the deploy feature. Oh, and along the top you get light, you get buzz, and you've got the accessories. Now that it comes, you've got to assemble it. Probably that's why it's not as long as that, because it'll be longer when you had these end pieces on. So that's why it wouldn't look as big, because it's all uh, it's partly disassembled, so you'll have to do some assembly. It's, it does say uh, some assembly required. Where does it say it? It does say it somewhere. 
I'm sure it says it. Yeah, adult assembly required, it says right there. So, you've got to assemble it. That's probably why it, just, it doesn't look as big, but it's certainly not two feet. I'll, I'll uh, review it against Titan class Trypticon at space. Well, I'll try and get it into the Nemesis mode and see the size comparison difference. It's definitely not two feet. I, I seen a reviewer saying it was about two feet. I don't think so. I say I'll, I'll review it against the. I don't think it's two feet, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but it doesn't look two feet. The box certainly isn't as big as a Titan class. Uh, Transformer toy, the box is smaller, so I don't know. Right, so I'll get it out of the box and let's see what we've got here, okay? Right, here it's out of the box now. You get the baggies with the parts you've got to assemble, that's the Xylon and the drop pod, and you get these extra, you get the front pylon but you've got to connect onto. You actually can kind of feel kind of heavy. I think they're plastic, but it feels as if it's getting some metal in it. You get them, and you get the spiky bits you've got to add on. It's pretty cool. But you get them separate, you've got to add them on. And I've already put the batteries in. The batteries live in there. And... Now, one thing I've noticed, these are soft plastic, but they've already bent in the way, I don't know if they're supposed to be bent out the way or like that whether you can heat them up and straighten them, I don't know but I mean they'll bend over time because it does have front landing gear that you can have it like that uh, I did think you could uh, deploy them and have them come down like loading ramps but the landing gear's not long enough to do that see even that, you're not getting much uh, you're not getting much, uh, whoops, that's me activated the sound effect, this accident. So you're not getting much, um, you're not getting much, wait till that stops. That was a long one. Uh, yeah, you can tell the batteries are in it. Right, uh, just sound effects, but you're not getting much to deploy them as loading ramps, or, uh, or, you know, whatever. So, not good. I thought it would be better than that. <laughs> but you can have it standing straight up like that, or what they want you to do is have it like that. But, like I said, with them, they're going to be bent anyway when you place it on, the, on, on a surface, so they're going to end up bending anyway. So maybe it's not worth straightening them. But these are the same soft plastic as what's underneath. I do like the little window there. The window's there. Pity you couldn't paint that up. See, I think you get repro labels. Could you a sticker for that? And see an interior. Even there. And then the inside it, um, there's a console unit. There's a chair. I think retro labels could fill that out with with what look the uh, detailing. You get a bunch of labels and you could stick them on in there. But whether a toy hacks decide to do one for this, I don't know. But it definitely needs retro labels in there. It definitely needs uh, labels in there. If that's not some side thruster, if that's a little viewing window or something, I don't know. Um, it's supposed to be a mothership, so. But it could well be a viewing window, I don't know. So, I'll get this thing together off screen. Unless you want me to do it on screen. I could just do it on screen. I could just do it on screen. Right, so you take that out. And you stick it on there like that. Just stick, just clips on. Take it, open this up. Same with that one, it's got these kind of clip bits there, you just clip that on, there we go, clip clip, that's the front of it, uh, these, there's various parts where you have to put them, oh you do get instructions with it, of course, with everything, you, these special things you do get instructions, you get these silly bits as well, you don't need, well it does tell you there, where to, how to assemble the the parts, so I'm not 100% sure how, but it's 
some parts go there, I don't know if they're numbered. Um, hmm. Oh, and there's bits underneath as well. So, this could be, yeah, there's bits there as well. So I'm not 100% sure. Because I think they can come back out, oops. That's, that's a bit loose. If that goes there, that's a bit loose. I think the biggest parts, I think these are the biggest part. They go underneath, I think. Wait, was that wrong? I think that might be wrong. I'm gonna kind of get the damn thing back out. Ah. Great, it goes in but it won't come out. Give me a Okay, apparently according to this, that that's right. That bit does should be down there because there it is there. So that's the bottom of the ship. So I was right. I was right. <laughs> Just refer to the box. You can, the only thing is, if you get it wrong, I don't know how you, unless you're supposed to bring them back out again. But these are these are awfully loose. I don't like that. I don't know how. I don't know why they're so loose. What that? That's not good. Now what did I do with the instructions? Ah. Lift them up here. <coughs> they should be numbered. That's the other thing, I don't see numbers on them. Because they should be numbered, but I'm not seeing numbers on them. Because it's numbered on the... Oh wait. Wait, there's a number at the end. No, I thought that was a number. I don't know why it's not numbered. It should be numbered. It should be numbered, it's not numbered. I do know that the handle goes in the middle. There's a handle that goes in the middle. Uh, yeah, actually it's easy to find where these go because that's square. These will probably go in there. These will probably actually go in there. Oh, it's set there blooming. I'll take the batteries out. Ah, oh, it is numbered. It's got two on, two on there. There's a two. So it is numbered. So it is numbered. I didn't, I didn't think it was numbered. Ah, that goes in there like that. The other one will go on the other side if we can find the blue thing. Yeah, it's numbered. It's, it's got one. See? One. So it is, it is numbered. <coughs> and obviously they'll aim, aim out the way from each other, they'll not aim in. There we go. Yeah, that's that's right. If you had it aiming in the way, I think you would have it wrong. So that must be numbered then. I don't know where the number is on it, is, but unless it must be on the tab. So they are numbered. Yep, it's numbered inside. That, that, that's a four. It's, in, it's inside. I don't know if you can see that. So four. Oh, four goes along there. Oh. So four. Okay, so that actually goes up the way. Four actually, you actually have it up the way. Like that. That's interesting. And so four, I can find out where four goes. It says it goes that way, but uh, ah, it does. It does go that way. Right, four goes in there. Four goes in there, so the R three see even his R on it. Even his R on it. If you can see that R, there's an R and a three, so that's right, right three. So 
it will go the other side with the four was oh wait hold on is that right is that the right length make sure it's the right length because there's, there's shorter ones and there's longer ones aye that, that's the right length so R3 will go that side there we go these are actually stiffer it's these ones there that are not so stiff right the handle now the handle will go a certain way the handle goes a certain way Yeah, it goes that way. It goes that way. I don't think there's a number on it because you know where it goes. And I think uh, with the size of the peg, the, there's a larger hole at the back and a smaller. See how they're two different sizes. This, uh, that's longer and that's shorter. But obviously, cause it, cause it can only go one way. So the bigger one at the back and the front, smaller one at the front. There we go. There's the handle. At five, there's five. Five is five must go there. I think. I think five goes there. If I don't hit the bone, ah, five goes in there. It's tricky to get at. Probably should have put this in second. Oh god, that, that is difficult to get at. Five goes in there like that. So he, it's, uh, he probably should have put that on first. You, you can get in there, you saw me do it, but it's tricky. And seven. There's seven in that. So seven will go there. You can get in there, it's easy, it's not that difficult to get in there. I want to know if I've got them in right. I do, but the, the bottom ones are awfully loose. Right, there must be another space somewhere for them ones, because I've, I've got two there. Where on earth do they fit? Hmm, where on earth are these fitting? Ah, right. Right, okay. These fit in there, I think. They fit in there, but you'll have to go a certain way. That's eight. Ah, it does, it shows it upside down. Because uh, there's fins. There's fins un underneath it there. So, it's eight. Eight goes there. Eight goes in there. That's a difficult one again, isn't it? There and what one's that? I think that might might be ten. It says all oh, one. Unless it's one. No, it's ten, it says ten. It's ten. It's either all oh, one. If it's ten, I think it's ten. So 10 goes in there like that. There we go. And that's the ship together. That is it together. Looking really cool. And we can get the pod out. It is pretty big. But I still don't think it's as big as Tripticon. I think Tripticon's longer. I could be wrong. So we'll get the pod out and the little character. There they are there. Hi, uh, I don't know where that got to. I'll do this again in case I, I missed it. So you open you open them out, you put it in that way with one of the bits facing in that slot there. You close it and you're supposed to deploy it and it that actually worked better. That actually worked better. I'll try that again, although the figure's standing there, so I'll try, I'll try that again, right, 
I hope you can see that, so I'll do it again. Have that bit, there's a gap right there. There's a gap right there where my fingers in. You could have to put that bit in there like that. Right. Oh. Turn it in like that. And put it in like that. Close it. Now, watch. I'm holding it aloft so you can't see the ship. But we're going to see if we can deploy this. No. <laughs> it worked, worked before. It did work because I did have it. It did deploy the right way up. Now, um, we'll try this again. No, it doesn't want to do it. But I did have it. it. It does work with other two. It does work with other two. You're supposed to deploy them. Like that. I don't know if it's supposed to work on a hard surface or a salt or a carpet surface. But maybe because it's a hard surface, it's not doing it right. Oh. I could try a carpeted surface, but it, sh it should you should deploy upright no matter what, what way you put it in. We'll try it again. It did work. Okay, it kind of worked, but that bit didn't deploy. But that you get the idea. You're supposed to drop them, they land upright and open and open up as it lands with that, because it's that button in the bottom. So you, you get the idea. In your both compartments, you're supposed to spring from from. This is why you need the extra set, because you only get one with this. So. Let's go on to the other features. So, right. You open these up. That's storage compartments. Like I said earlier on, you could, you should really uh, get repro labels. I hope they bring out toy hacks. I hope they bring out um, the stuff for it. And there's a little... Uh, machine there, I don't know whether it's an energy thing or whatever it is. There's a some sort of thing there that's inside it. It's looking pretty cool. There it is there. Looking nice. But to stand the figures up, the uh it's not it's like it's not micro machines. And obviously that seat's too too big to fit because Zerg will be the same size as well these hyperspace series so you're not going to get a tiny tiny Zerg. What you should have got was a tiny drop ship. That uh, fighter. See this? See that? You should have got a tiny one of these to go with this. That would have been cool because you could have deployed it out at the bottom along with these. But it didn't do that for this which is annoying because that's obviously where the fighter's coming from is the mothership. Um, it's a pity it didn't have a small version, but no, there's no way to stand these up. There's no way. There's no. There's no pegs to stand these up with. It's just freestanding, and it can't sit in that seat. It's too big, and the Zerg will be the same. So you just have to lay them down for storage space and close it over. And same with that side. Close it over. If you don't want the pods in the bottom, you've got storage space there, you get massive storage space there as well, you can put things in, but you may want to just keep the pods in there as storage, because that's where they're supposed to live. Right, sound effects, and you see the engines light up, you can see that very well. You might not be able to see that very well. Over there, try to make it a wee bit dimmer so you can see it. That might be better. Oh, I'll do it again. It only does, um, 
spaceship sound effect. There's no zerg noise is coming from it. There's no zerg sound clip. This is weird. I thought it would come with zerg sound effects. I don't know. If, I don't. I don't think the front ones are connected. I think it's just stickers or paint arts that's on the front. It's. It, it doesn't light up. It's just a kind of luminous green. That's light. Looks like it's lit up. Like I said, I don't know what these are. I don't know if they're thrusters, side thrusters, or maybe that's like uh, you know in the Death Star with the Emperor. Uh, throne room is. I don't know if it's like that. So Repro labels could maybe stick a sticker on it and it gives you the kind of impression of the interior in there. And same with them. But it's got nice detailing on it. I do love the detailing on it. Lovely detailing on the on the figure. I, I do love the, 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 the detailing on it. And even there, the, the detailing on it's looking pretty cool. It's got lovely kind of detailing on it. That's you know molded in de detailing. Pity some of it isn't painted up. You know if it was third party, it would all be painted up. These would be showing an interior if that is what that is. And it'd be different colours, either silvers and different things and golds and whatever. But no, and there are vents there. And obviously it's got the speakers there. You can see it, obviously the speaker. And of course the engines are actually green. So it does look like a Decepticon ship to me. I might put a faction symbol on it. Because it does look like that. If you're getting no Zerg uh, sound clips and you're just getting the ship effects, uh, engine effects, you could actually just pass it off as a Decepticon ship because it's the same purple so as, as a Decepticon ship. It's definitely the same purple. I would put some faction symbols on it because again, there's, there's no faction thing on the side there. The dropship has a the has, has a number on the side there, but that has nothing on it. So you could easily put uh, I don't know where you would put it, but you put it along the hull or somewhere along there, depending on the size of the faction symbol. You could put it on there on one of the there's places you could put. Yeah, it, it definitely. You know, you could put a faction symbol on this. Because it definitely has the colours, it definitely has the colours uh, of a Decepticon ship, there's no Zerg sound, uh, sound clips from this, it's just all engine noises and you can get away with it, there's no other symbol sim, symbols on it, so you could easily put a faction symbol on a Decepticon one somewhere along, somewhere in the vessel and you could get away with it. <laughs> And it's the right colour, it's the right colour purple for Decepticon and it would definitely all spike at the back there and it definitely has the greens on it, I mean Decepticon some some have greens on it, some have greys like that, some have purples on it, reds on it, so you could easily pass as a Decepticon ship, I, I, I might put faction symbols on it make it Decepticon. Okay. So I'll go and get Trypticon and show you that this thing is not as long as that. It's still quite big. I mean, there's my hands. It is still quite quite big. I can barely fit in the. I can barely fit in the screen. But it's still quite big when you put it all together. But I don't think it's as long as Trypticon. I could be mistaken. I'll go and have a look. Right here's Trypticon, and that's in his ne Nemesis spaceship mode. USS Nemesis. So that is two foot. That's that's a two foot in height figure, and that ship isn't even as long as that. You can tell it's not as long as that. So it's no way that there's that two foot. That's two foot. That isn't. So it's not quite as big, but it looks nice against it. It's definitely the same purple. So you can see the purples working there. Oops. You can see the purples working there. It's the exact same purple there as what the ship is. See that purple? It's, it matches exactly that purple. So, and you've got reds, and you've got greys, and you've got greens. And the green is probably the same colour green as what's on there. Well, 
roughly. Ah, it's, it's a wee bit different. The green's a wee bit different. It's a wee bit different in green. There's probably some greens on it somewhere that are similar. But it's definitely got greens, it's definitely got purples, it's definitely got reds on it. So I would say it works as, as a Decepticon ship. But no, that's 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 definitely not not as big as a Decepticon ship. But the purple matches exactly for it to work as a Decepticon ship. As you can see, but that, that, that that's two foot, that that definitely isn't, but it definitely works as a Decepticon ship. That's what I'm saying, you can put replica label uh, faction symbols on it, and hopefully replica labels will fill in the interior detail with the, the bridge, if that's what that's supposed to be, or control room. So, yep, looking real cool, because that's what I'll have it as. I'll have it as a Decepticon ship because, like I said, there's no Zerg uh, sound clips. It's just all engine noises, so it could definitely work or pass off as a Decepticon ship. It's the exact same purple as you can tell. That purple matches exactly the purple that's, that's on there. I know that the light's shining off it doesn't make it look as if it is, but it's the exact same purples. The exact same purples there, as you can see. So, so it could work. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So just sort of do that size comparison, just in case, because someone else said it was too fit. And obviously, it says on the box that the, the, the size uh, of the thing. But it definitely could work as a, as a Decepticon ship with the spikes on it, with the colours. Obviously it's lights and sounds which is a bonus. I know not everybody cares for that, they're the Transformers collectors, but it's a bonus. And you could put faction symbols on it. And the Frepo labels does an interior with the bridge. Although it will be uh it won't be Decepticon interiors, it'll be tailored for light years, so of the screens will obviously reflect that but whatever but there we go but yeah definitely looking really cool there okay so I better end this video I'll take the, him out take the nemesis out of there but yeah not not every ship apart from Trypticon as you've seen in various Transformers series transforms itself you know in Prime, yes, it was influenced by Dark Energon. We all thought it was Trypticon, but it's just Dark Energon. It still remained um, a ship. It didn't transform. But, so you could still have that as, as a Decepticon ship if you want. You know, it's so cool. That's that, that. That's the reason I got this. I can, you can, you know, add to it faction symbols, that sort of thing. Paint things if you want, repro labels might come along with more labels to detail it up, we don't know, they might not, uh, if they do or not, maybe you can customise it with whatever labels that you do have and you can add it to your own heart's content, but yeah, you've definitely got a Decepticon ship there, even though it's really Zerg's battleship, but anyway, let's, let's end this video and go on with the other two. I will show this off with the other two, um, what do you call it, Zyclops things and see if it works better with them because I've seen other reviewers and the one that comes with it doesn't work so well but they use the spare ones or the other ones and it seems to work better. Don't ask me how or why but it, it, it seems to do that so I'll do that next and then I'll do the, the fighter. Or the dropship again one emission they should have done a tiny dropship with this you know a tiny version of this with that or fighter sort fighter ship they should have done a tiny one to go with the the that but they didn't missed opportunity but there we go but that's it so this has been well, I'll put that down here this has been 
a review for Disney Pixar Lightyear Hyperspeed Series Zerg Motherships. Zerg, Zerg's Mothership. Okay, so definitely worth getting. If you're into Transformers, I would definitely get this and customise it and make it a Decepticon ship. Like I said, not every ship in Transformers lore has to transform. You do get ships that don't. But it does look like, like a great Nemesis type ship. And it's definitely of a size. So it's pretty cool. And there's nothing on it that says it's Zerg. Even though you know it's Zerg. But th even the sound effects don't have any Zerg voice sound clips. It's just all uh, ship noises. So you're getting away with that as well. So it's pretty cool. I'll probably customise it. You put faction symbols on it, Decepticon ones, and we'll see what Retro Labels comes out, Toy Hacks comes out with. Does it come out with anything for it? I know you're saying, oh, maybe not, but who knows? Who knows? Right, so that's me for this. Thanks. Bye for now. Like I say, if you're a Transformers fan or a, tran or a fan of this movie, get this because it definitely can double as a Decepticon ship. Absolutely. Right. The colours match. You've seen the purples against Tripticon. They're exact. So it matches. Okay. Right. Bye for now. Bye. Thanks.